Good day, everyone. It's Sunday when I'm filming this, and I'm getting ready to head out late tonight to get a little bit of a head start for tomorrow morning. Picking up a load in Kenora tomorrow and bringing it down to Brainerd, and from Brainerd I have to run straight to South Dakota, a town called Beresford, South Dakota. i got to pick up a load of pipe or, like, rolled-up uh, drainage tile, I think, something like that, and bring that back up to Manitoba. First things first, we're at home here still. Every time we get a little bit of a windstorm, we have a ton of these branches that fall onto our yard all over the place, and we can't have that. So I've got to clean that up yet before I go. crazy how much this tree sheds. So this is one pile here. Another one back there. I have another one from that tree. The base there. That was from last time this happened. We have a windstorm come through here and I don't know if it's just like a fall thing. You know, all the branches just fall with the leaves. But it makes a mess on our yard. Every single time there's a storm. Well, as you can see where I've been raking. If I rake this half of the yard that way and this half that way. That's my project for today before we go back to the truck. It's a lot of work taking care of a yard. But it's fun. Well, we got the yard all cleaned up. And now I've just been loading everything up into the truck here at the shop. You can hear I've got my engine heater on already. That's because the temperature, as you can see by the toque, it's getting chilly out there. I mean, it feels chilly. It's only like, it's like 10 degrees Celsius, which is 40s, somewhere in the 40s probably Fahrenheit. It's not cold by any Manitoba measure or metric yet, but since we've just come off of a nice hot summer, it feels cold, so it'll take a little while for our bodies to climatize to the new temperatures as we slowly ease ourselves in to the dreaded season. That which should not be named. That which shall not be named. It's coming. So let's get the rest of my stuff into Old Blue. Pretty much all I've got to do is start her up now and uh, pull her out. Then we'll go get the trailer, hook onto that. Just like that, and we'll head over to Kenora, Ontario. So there's not much of a vlog today. This is sort of just a weekend update. I don't always film on the weekends when I'm at home, because it's family time, it's time to spend time with my family. And also, having a toddler is a lot of work. And when I go home, I try my best to uh, be on daddy duty as much as possible, because during the week when I'm at work, my wife takes care of everything at home. And that's a lot, and she deserves a break too. And so when I go home, I try to give her a break and uh, take care of as much things as I can uh, so that she can sleep in, rest, not worry about constantly watching a toddler, what he's grabbing onto, what he's holding, what he's putting in his mouth, where he's going, what he's doing, why he's so silent all of a sudden. That's my job when I'm at home on the week. So I don't always have time to like film and put videos here, but I try, I try. So it is Sunday when we're filming this. We'll make our way over there and uh, tomorrow we'll start our week strong, pick up in Kenora, go to Brainerd, go to Beresford, South Dakota, come back up here to, to Winkler, Manitoba. Little loop that'll get us to Winkler Wednesday morning and we'll still have the rest of the week to do something, whatever we find. That's trucking though. You don't really know what's going on until it's happening. Sorry if you can't really hear me over that engine heater. I just, I don't even hear it anymore. It's in the background. It's just, what it's doing is it's warming up my coolant in my engine. Again, I probably don't need to do that, but it feels cold to me out there. So I figured I'd, figured I'd help it out. I don't know. Let's go.
I made it. So, short video. Like I said, just an update. I'm tired. It's pretty late here. It's quiet here in Kenora, Ontario. I have to stop here for 10 hours now because I'm going into the US tomorrow. So after 10 hours are up, I can move the truck and go get loaded and start heading down. It's gonna be a long and full day, so I'm gonna need a long and full sleep. It's gonna be five and a half to six hours down to Brainerd, plus loading and tarping here, and then unloading and untarping down there, and then another five and a half hours, or as far as I can get in my 11 hours toward Bearsford, South Dakota. So I'm gonna need to bring my entire game tomorrow. Some of you uh, have been asking uh, and are curious on how my new steer tire is doing. I, If you haven't watched that video from last week, I bought a new steer tire. My passenger side, I had a Firestone steer tire on there. I had Firestones on both on the front. And uh, one tire wore really funny and uh, the edge of it wore out really quick. So I rotated it, flipped it around so I was on the inside and it just kept going. The tire was just a dud, it was bad. I was very disappointed in Firestone. So, <sighs> tires are expensive. I don't know if you knew this or not, a good set of Michelin steers, one tire, a thousand dollars, one tire, and it'll last you, how long drivers? If you get a good one, two years? But if you have a bad one like I just had, one year. So the Michelins are $1,000. <laughs> Why? Why is it $1,000? What's going on with the tire market? There's going to be all these economists that say, well, yeah, yeah, keep your fancy hat on. I don't care about your excuses. $1,000 for one tire is ridiculous. You know what I did? I went and bought an offshore tire. It's made in Vietnam. Uh, the brand is called Blackhawk. Paid $500, half price from the American brand. I'd prefer to support the American brand. But why is it a thousand dollars? You guys get it, you guys who buy tires all the time. The, the price of tires has gone just through, like past the moon. And it's among the stars somewhere, no one knows where it went, but it's way up there. I put these Firestones on here last time because they were a bit cheap. They were like $800, a little bit cheaper. Seven to $800, somewhere in there. Each, each. So this time I'm like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna go cheap. I'm gonna buy the Blackhawk tire. And I know the Blackhawk tire, it's a regional tire. I know, so, some, a whole bunch of people have been messaging me. Actually, actually, that's a regional tire and for the work you do, it's not gonna be the, I know. I do my research on these things. <laughs> Sorry, I'm getting, I'm at the end of my day. I'm a little grumpy. Uh, <laughs> calm myself down. I know the tire. I do my research on these things before I buy it. I already, I, I know all, all about it. I know it's a regional tire. I'm a regional driver. This is a regional truck. Our regions in Canada are just a little bit bigger than in other places. Regional to us here is a thousand mile radius, like a 1500 kilometer radius. So from here to the Rocky Mountains west, from like here halfway through the Canadian Shield to Thunder Bay east, South all the way down to Iowa, uh, South Dakota, where I was, Minnesota, obviously, uh, Montana. Uh, that's all regional, up to Thompson, up north, further than that. that that's regional. I'm on regional fleet. Uh, so a regional tire for a regional truck, right? But I understand. Some people are like, oh, but you do a, a lot of miles. You want a highway tire, a good highway tire. This one's going to, I don't know. I did all that. I did all that thinking and pondering, and I, I decided to go with Blackhawk anyway. It's uh, yeah, it's a regional tire. I'll see what happens. I don't know. I decided to go for it and see what happens. Let me be your guinea pig, okay? I'll tell you how it does. Because if you can save five hundred dollars, if you can save half, half as much, uh, half your money, just by buying an offshore tire, and it performs just as well as the other tires, why not? We're not running charities out here with these trucks. We're trying to make money. We got families at home to feed. We got roofs to keep over our kids' heads. We got to put food on the table. And we would like to have a little bit of extra to maybe take the kids to Disney World once or twice, you know? Uh, I'm not paying $1,000 for a tire. Are you kidding me? Are you trying to go out of business? Stop giving these people your money. They're robbing you. So I'm, I'm trying the Blackhawk. 
the offshore tire. Uh, I've been using Blackhawks on my drives. And that's why I decided to try it on my steers as well, right? If you if you remember. And the Blackhawks on my drives, I paid half price for them. For Michelins, they wanted $8,000 to replace all my tires in the back. Eight tires behind my truck. $8,000. I'm sorry, I just realized my camera's not always been focusing on my face. Forgive my... It's the end of the day. I'm tired. I'm grumpy. <laughs> Not focusing on the focusing. But anyways, I got these Blackhawks. $4,000. Half the price. And they've been doing just as good as any Michelin, BF Goodrich, or Firestone tire I've ever used in my life. Been doing this a while. I've watched how tires wear. All kinds of different brands. They're wearing just the same as any other tire. They're doing great, actually. I really like them. I'm going to put them on my truck again next time I change my tires. So I saved $4,000. And those last about, well, depends on how much you drive, right? Sorry, I was getting a little carried away there. I'm just blown away at the prices out there. And uh, if I can pay half the price and get the exact same results, why not? Even if like these tires wear down a little faster than the others, it's you still save money. So I, I've become a believer in Blackhawks. I have, uh, I've, they've won me over. So I'm gonna try them on my steers as well. So far it's been really good. It's only been a week since I've had them on there, but uh, you know, so far, I'll let you know how it goes though. Maybe I'll be totally wrong. Maybe these steer tires are gonna wear down all funny. They're gonna be terrible. They're only gonna last six months. If that's the case, I'm happy to admit that I was wrong, that I made a mistake, and I'll let you know so you don't make the same mistake as well. But if they do as well as my drives did, I will also let you know so you can also save that much money. So just stay tuned. I'm gonna have to move spots, I think, because uh, I just had a, a livestock driver come up and I, I was not supposed to have any neighbors here, but he pulled up beside me and he's got some very noisy cattle banging around in there. I don't know if he's gonna stay there or not or Maybe I'll go say hi, see what he's see what he's doing. If he's gonna stay there overnight, I'm gonna I'm gonna move. I don't wanna listen to those cows going all night, banging their hoofs all over and I'm picky. If I have a choice between a quiet spot and a not so quiet spot, I'll always pick the quiet spot. I don't know, maybe I'm weird. Probably am. I'm tired, I know that. So I'm probably acting weird. I need to go to bed. That's what I'm gonna do. Thanks everybody for joining me. Please don't forget to subscribe. It means a lot to me and it's also free. It's the best way to support me. Leave me a comment down below for the algorithm. If you're new, leave me a comment down below telling me you're new so that I can welcome you here. If you want to go to my main page, I have playlists of videos I've made all the way back to 2011. I have quite a bit of content online. I've been making videos for about 13 years. Isn't that crazy? So yeah, love to have you as part of the crew here. Subscribe. And please come back tomorrow. There will be more videos. So thanks for hanging out for this short little while. I'll see you tomorrow for a more full-length vlog. We'll start here and make our way south. I could use your company tomorrow. It'll be a uh, tough one to get through. First day on the road after being home for the weekend is always the hardest. So I'd appreciate if you'd come hang out. Hit, uh, hit that like button down below. Leave me a comment. I'll see you right here tomorrow at 4 p.m. Central Time.